Well, for once, I did something in my truck, finally. Uh, I had those, like, pitch black headlights, and I couldn't see shit in the dark. So I ordered new lights, and they just show up today. Here they are. Also washed the truck. But, those are the new lights. Pretty cool. They aren't, I don't know. I like the other ones, how they're smoked, but, uh, honestly, they're just no good for winter time, so these will work for winter. I can put the other ones in for summertime. Something else I got. These are old school Polaris wedge graphics. These are almost impossible to get now. I mean, I remember... Yeah, there's a couple different colors there. I got a few different sets, but uh, I remember seeing these on sleds back, you know, the early 2000s. And uh, these are literally like the OG wraps for sleds. So, yeah, I picked them all up. I think one of the guys that's going racing with me wants one or two sets. And I'm going to keep this red set for myself. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but... I got it but I mean I couldn't turn them down you just can't buy that stuff anymore so snag them up but I do want to get some work done on this today I at least want to pull the shocks and these race rods and the tire rods today and also I bought a complete set of uh, Pro RMK shocks I'm going to sell the rear shock the two ski shocks and I'm keeping the center skid shock because I have another one of these too. These are going to be my uh, ski shocks for this little ice sled. So if anybody needs Pro RMK shocks, hit me up. This will work for like 11 to 15. These are like 2011, 2012. But I don't know, I got no use for them. I just wanted that one and those kind of came with it so yeah let's make some progress on this thing all right so we're actually pulling the front suspension off this sled for the trail snail sorry for the snail trail i always get that mixed up normally it's dark in here it is definitely nighttime and i was like hey i have a camaro sitting here kind of works out so I brought some hand tools over here because obviously I don't have an air compressor over here. We're going to start pulling these uh, radius rods, tie rods, stuff off the sled. And uh, it's kind of a shame because this is such a nice old wedge sled. But I mean, I don't really want to build a 600 triple. I have, you know, Stormy sitting over there for the big, the big boy class and so for now this is going to be parts kind of a shame but yeah let's get to pulling some parts all right so this bolt is actually stuck in the sleeve so i'm kind of giving up right now i have any air coil or anything to spray on there try to get freed up i do but not here um i can't really hammer on it from the back side because there's a bracket in the way for the shock so that's cool yeah I'm gonna head back to the garage well these Walker Evans pretty much fit perfect I didn't really expect the bushings to be the right size I honestly thought I was gonna have to cut stuff down you know narrow them up to fit in there but that is a perfect fit. Now, not only are the skis worth more than the sled, so are the shocks. <laughs> um, I did take a vacuum cleaner. I missed a leaf there, but I just kind of went through and cleaned all up. Oh, that's tight right in. I thought it was spark plugs. I'm looking at the screen on the camera, but yeah, I just kind of cleaned her up a little bit. And it's not perfect, but. We're getting there, a little bit of progress here and there, and that's really about all I can say is slowly making progress, one thing at a time, you know. 
tomorrow I'll get back to uh, trying to pull that front suspension off the XCR. Then pretty much assembly can start on this sled. Get this side done with the uh, wider tie rods and radius rods and all that. And then I'll take the other side apart and do the same thing. Make it wider and cut these these walk rims are actually shorter than uh, the stock shocks, so that will also help, you know, drop the front to the ground. A lot of work for an old sled, but I think it'll be worth it. I think this fan class is going to be a lot of fun to race in. It's going to be really competitive. There's all kinds of different sleds out there, and uh, yeah, it's cheap. Just got to keep plugging away at it until those things uh, get to go. But there's a daily update. I'll get back to you guys tomorrow.